Hey guys, this is Tonto and today we're here to talk about loot boxes, the Thanos giving orbs, and overall the Thanos giving event. Now, before like I get into this, I just wanted to say that I do like this event. I know that that's probably going to have some of you guys leaving it right now, but I do think that this event is rather generous. These one core a day offers that we've been getting are actually pretty decent. Like for one core, you're getting these training mats and stuff. Think about it this way. Usually this kind of stuff is the stuff they end up putting into the milestones and you have to work towards completing it. But instead of having it in the milestones, they've now got these one core and offer day bundles and we've had them for the last few days. And now they're going to be going until the 29th. In fact, today's one was amazing. Like, like this is the kind of stuff that would usually be in the milestones. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're looking at the milestones and you're telling me torn up. But uh, this has encouraged me to spend $3,000 or $2,000 or whatever to be able to get up to the bottom of it. And I'm not disagreeing that these are whale milestones. But I don't think, first of all, whale milestones are awful. I think that they are something that are okay. I don't have an issue with them. If people want to whale and stuff to be able to complete milestones, that's fine. But calling this event a massive slap in the face, I don't think is accurate anymore. After looking at these bundles and everything every day that we've been getting for free, I do think that these are really, really great. Like this... Like these, these rewards are stuff that we'd usually have within the milestones and they've just kind of transitioned them over. Um, now, a big part of this is obviously these Thanos giving orbs. If you have a look at the Thanos giving orbs, oh wait, you can't actually look at them at all. You can only see how many you've kind of earned here. So I've earned 796,000 fragments. So divide that by two. What's that? 3,390-ish uh, orbs or something along those lines. Um, for free. Uh, I think there's been a couple bundles that I've kind of purchased. Um, but beyond that, I haven't gone up like to an extra milestone or anything like that from making the purchases. I don't think that this is awful. I know. I know that there's a lot of rewards in here that we're not going to be able to get. I know that this is a lot of stuff that we're not able to get but like these here in my opinion are kind of making up for that this is the stuff that they'd usually put into the milestones so in fact you're not having to work as hard you're getting rewards for essentially free like one core i would consider basically free like it, it's not much 20 freaking gold promo credits a hundred orange things three two one and a half no one and three quarters of a gold orb it, it's decent like these are decent i mean I don't think the event's as bad as kind of people are making it out. I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was initially, especially after seeing this. Like, seeing this today kind of made me think, maybe this maybe this event's not as bad. The communication around the event is still complete and other shite. Don't get me wrong. It, uh, sorry, I've got like a bit of a cold now. Um, it's a completely awful. They actually communicated today. Cerebro said, The availability of milestone points from the Infinity Feast is the amount correctly sh currently shown with a small additional amount in the one power core offers. So they're just basically saying, Look, this is a whale milestone. Fully complete it. This should have been announced at the start. As soon as this was announced at the start, that would have been fine. And I think that would have been fine. This... These here, these, like, if you guys are talking about this being like a Thanos giving, like a Thanksgiving event and everything like that, these one power core bundles are uh, definitely kind of reaching out towards that. I don't know. I don't have that much of an issue with it. What I do have issues with is Scopely breaking the rules and the legislations and, uh, no, no, what are they called? The policies. Breaking the policies around the Google Play Store and the App Store, which is obviously where both of these are. So what I wanted to talk about here is these Thanos giving orbs. They are selling them directly. You need to purchase them. You are going in here and you're going down here and you're purchasing these Thanos giving orbs. Well, you're able to. If you don't want to, that's up to you guys. But you are able to purchase these Thanos giving orbs and there is no indication as to what the loot box chances are, what is even in them beyond the fact that they did a little announcement that was something like there is a... Um, I can't pronounce that word, Cornup, Cornucopia, Cornupkia, of it prizes, including training modules, ability maps, and small chance for gold jackpot. That's all we've gotten. There's no drop rates in it. Is that all the rewards that are in it? What type of ability materials are they? If they're tier two mat ability materials, I don't give a shit. If they're tier three, I really don't care either. If they're tier four, then praise the Lord. 
do they require 2,000 fragments like other orbs? Am I buying, like if I go in here and I'm going to purchase one of these orbs, am I purchasing like, is this nine orbs here or is this like three orbs? I don't know. And again, the drop rates. There's nothing in here about the drop rates. If you guys have a look at the actual policies around the Google Play Store, it specifically says apps and games offering mechanisms to receive randomized virtual items, which is what this is, from a purchase including but not limited to loot boxes, must clearly disclose the odds of those in advance of and in close and timely proximity to that purchase. They're straight up saying, you have to show the odds. You have to show what's in them before people are able to purchase them in advance of. So it's not like, I completely understand what they were going for here. I completely understand what they are going for. Something like when it's Christmas day and you go up to the Christmas tree and you open up all your presents and everything like that and you receive some good stuff, some bad stuff, who knows? Um, your mum might have got you a bad sweater or something, who knows? But it's it's completely understandable what they are going for here. They want it to be, it to be a surprise and stuff. But that doesn't mean that it's okay. As I said, there is nothing in here that is showing what these drop at all. There is nothing showing what rates they are or anything along those lines. And yes, it's obviously one of the things that is most uh, most annoying about this event is you're working towards getting these orbs and purchasing these orbs or getting them from the milestone. And you have no idea what's in them. But the other thing is it's just really shady. Like, it's just shady sh selling stuff that no one has what it is. Like, I I gave a little example. I post this post. Um, I also, I keep going in and out. Sorry, the green screen's playing up a bit at the moment. Give me just one second. I made this post on the um, official uh, Envoy server. And I was basically, like, look, look, I understand what you're designing it for. It was meant to be, like a surprise and feel like Christmas where you open up all your presents and see what you got, which I think would have been a better idea for this. Like I think Christmas would have been a better place for this, but when you are asking for real money for them to purchase over like a thousand of these orbs, you need like 1,500 to complete it. You get a whole lot for free, but you still need about 1,500 in total. It's kind of like going into McDonald's and you, you're purchasing mystery drinks. You just, every time you go in there, you're purchasing a mystery drink that you're going to get in the future, but you don't know what it is to work towards a loyalty card. And that's what the milestones are. They're like a loyalty card kind of thing. Like you're making purchases to kind of rack up those loyalty card points. And then you get whatever the kind of is coming from these milestones in here. Like it doesn't encourage me to spend. In my opinion, this does not encourage me to spend because yes, I'll be able to get these rewards here, like 64, these, are, I mean, even the rewards aren't amazing. Like they're good, but they're not amazing. It's like, not until you get down to these orbs, like these ones down here where you get like 80 bloody ability mats. You're encouraging me to just purchase orbs that I don't know what they are. I don't have any idea what they are. I don't know if I'm going to get good rewards. I don't know if I'm going to get awful rewards from them. It's just, it's against the TOS, whatever TOS policies of both the Google store, as I said here, and the app store, the uh, the iOS app store here. Off apps offering loot boxes or other mechanisms that provide randomized virtual items, which this is what this is. You're purchasing orbs, which are a randomized virtual item for purchase must disclose the odds of each receiving each type of item to customers prior to purchase. This is the kind of stuff that can get you removed from the app store and removed from the Google play store because we won't distribute apps and in-game purposes that are clear ripoffs. But that's the thing. We don't know if they're clear ripoffs or anything like that. We don't know if these orbs are worth it. We have no idea. This is the part that kind of frustrates me the most about this event is just the communication around it. As I said, I don't have any issues with it being whale milestones. In fact, whale milestones, I, I've i never really had too much of an issue with. Um, if they are marketed as such and if they talk about them as such, uh, especially when you have decent rewards from it as well, it's the encouraging people to purchase stuff that they don't know what it is. There's people out there who have gambling addictions, people who want to like 
who open loot boxes because that's what they kind of get off on. But they're going to do this and then it comes around to Thanos giving day and it, they're just going to get absolute shite from it or it all pays off and it's amazing stuff. It's, it's a gamble. You're gambling on purchasing the orbs that you're then going to be gambling with. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just done. I, I'm, I'm, this pisses me off so much. Um, anyway, guys, if you guys think I'm completely on the wrong track, let me know. Um, if you guys hate the Thanos giving event still, I, I do like it, as I said, but this whole kind of encouraging people to purchase loot boxes that they don't know what's in them, they don't know what is going to come out of them or anything like that is just really, really, really seedy. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.